Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And normally when we do these tour in our local market videos, we're kind of casual, but today we are in the shirt and tie. And the reason why is because we are going to sit down at what I'm going to suggest is the premier fine dining experience in Florence. We are heading to Victor's in downtown Florence and I would say that Victor's and the Hotel Florence are the heart of downtown Florence. And so let's don't waste any time. Let's head directly to downtown Florence and meet the owner of Victor's, Mr. Tim Norwood and executive chefs, Cooper Thomas and Shelby Tumbleson. <laughs> I've been involved with my wife. Uh, Ann and I are, uh, are the primary owners of, of Victor's, and uh, we got involved back in 2003 when Victor's was down in the old Shoney's building where Woodstone Barbecue is now. Mm -hmm. We were there for about five years, and the facility, first of all, you can, everybody knows it's a Shoney's building, and it, it really wasn't uh, conducive of what the environment we wanted for Victor's. And, and what, what we wanted Victor's is a, is a place that uh, the community is proud of, that they can come in and uh, celebrate with their friends, whether it's a after work cocktail or whether it's a, an engagement or an anniversary or a birthday or a business meal. You know, we have a lot of businesses that come here to celebrate signing a big deal or negotiating a big deal. And then we have a, a lot of businesses that come and have you know their, their meetings here during the day and in the evening and stay at Hotel Florence. About 13 years ago, we were looking around and my wife and I, we, we felt like when we saw all the things that were coming into downtown Florence, we, you know, I knew the museum was coming, although it hadn't been started, it had been funded. The little theater hadn't, hadn't been built yet. The library had been uh, completed and then we were looking for the Performing Arts Center happening. But knowing all that was gonna happen over the next few years down the cultural corridor, down Dargan Street, uh, we felt like there was a, a place for downtown to have a, a really nice restaurant, uh, you know, a white tablecloth restaurant and great cocktail bar. One thing we wanted to create in, in, uh, with Victor's is a, a place that where the where the food is paramount, that you know, we want to we want to serve the the um, hand cut, 30 day wet aged steaks, and you can't get those anywhere else in Florence, and that's a, a the porterhouse, and, and these are hand cut fillets and hand cut ribeyes. That's not you know most everybody else in the industry uses green, which is just right off the, the truck or right out of the grocery store, and it's not gonna be as tender and as flavorful as a hand-cut, 30-day wet, wet aged uh, piece of meat. And we also wanna use the freshest seafood. And uh, you know we, we're constantly, Shelby and, and Cooper and, and the team, they're constantly sourcing out fresh seafood, whether it's flounder or red snapper, tilefish, whatever it may be, we have sorting out and have it delivered Fresh, whether it's in the, the, the uh, coast of North Carolina or coast of South Carolina, it's caught, delivered here, and we serve it fresh. We have a very creative menu, and we try to do a new menu at least twice a year, you know, seasonally as best we can. We are uh, working with some consultants out of New York City for our bar. We've had uh, them come in and do a lot of training with our bar staff, getting getting the classic cocktails down pat, uh, utilizing you know handcrafted, which you know. Um, it takes a little longer to make a handcrafted drink, but it's so much better.
Thomas. Um, I've been here for 11 years. Uh, joined the team back, I believe it was 13, 14, sorry, excuse me, so 10 years. Pretty amazing when we originally got here. I, I didn't know much about the downtown area and what they were trying to accomplish. And um, Tim and a group of his friends have really done a, a great job along with the city to kind of just revitalize this entire area. And I didn't realize to what level that was gonna be over the next decade, but it's pretty amazing what they've accomplished. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been proud to be a part of that. Um, that started with the hotel and Victor's moving into the hotel. Victor's has been a part of Florence for a long time, but they changed locations when the hotel was built. And part of that whole thing was to be included in the revitalization. Um, and they've modeled that after other towns in the state and around the country who have been successful in doing that. When it comes to the philosophy for menu, what we try to do is maintain freshness. We try to be unique. We try to stick to a southern culture, but maybe add a little flair and a little different twist on things. You know, I, I'm lucky to have some wonderful guys working for me in the kitchen and out front. Shelby Tumbleson is uh, my co-executive chef, and she does an amazing job of coming up with dishes, you know, running the kitchen, maintaining standards and quality control and everything else. You're only as good as the people you got with you. We're open 365 days a year because we're inside of a hotel. Um, so the menu changes a good bit from breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, right now breakfast is just a buffet, you know, um, which is great for the business travelers that we get for the hotel. Um, weekends, we see more people coming in that are local, that really like to come in and just, you know, sit down and enjoy breakfast. The, uh, the unique items that I see for lunch is, you know, a lot of people have a French dip, and we did for years, and people loved it, but we wanted to make a change, so we changed it to a, like a barbecue brisket dip. So it's a barbecue au jus. We slow cook the uh, brisket overnight, and you still do the dipping process and all that, but. It's just got a different flair to it, a little different concept. The standard is shrimp and grits. People love that. They're all, that's always gonna be here as part of a staple on the, on the menu. And then at dinner, Shelby's done a great job of uh, really coming up with some unique concepts like uh, things that we'll try today, which will be our uh, crispy pork belly, which is served with Southern style greens and not quite as Southern as traditional, but it has a sweet and sour sauce that we make in-house. Hi, I'm Shelby Tumbleson. I'm the executive chef here at Victor's. I've been working here for six years. Started as a line cook and slowly worked my way up to becoming executive chef. I'm really passionate about cooking and what we do here at Victor's and serving our local community. This is our different take on shrimp and grits, but it is scallop and grits. Um, we use Jimmy Red Grits out of Altman Farms. Again, a local farmer provides whatever seasonal greens he has. Right now it is braised mustard greens, seared scallops. Our, all of our micro greens in house are actually sourced out of Hartsville. And then we also make a blueberry barbecue sauce from scratch, fresh blueberries, lots of vinegar. So it kind of balances out that sweet and tangy flavor profile. Here we have our porterhouse. So a porterhouse is the filet in the strip um, as one steak. It's a big seller. And then one of our signature side items is the baked lobster mac and cheese. So again, everything is made in-house. Um, bechamel cheese sauce made for it in-house, fresh sourced lobster. Okay, so let's start with this pork belly. Oh man. Hold on. Alright, so first of all, these greens are on point. There's an art to cooking greens. We have some greens, we have some collards on Father's Day that were really good. These right here. And then this pork belly. This is sweet and sour sauce they've got. It's subtle. 
Everything just packed with natural flavor. It's not overpowering. This is good. I'm definitely gonna put this on the recommend list. I don't know which one of these I'm most excited about, honestly. <laughs> it's probably all equal. This one could be it. So the scallops and grits, for one, those of y'all that have been watching the channel long enough know, or maybe not, I'm a big blueberry fan. We got five bl blueberry bushes, excuse me, on the property. With a blueberry barbecue sauce, I don't even know what to expect, honestly. Yo. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't even know where to start. The, the blueberry barbecue sauce with the scallop, best way I can describe this, it has like a, it's got like a holiday flavor to it. <laughs> like a warm spice, but it's sweet. Neither one of those being overpowering. When combined with the grits, those grits are smooth, buttery. They've still got that stone ground texture. It, some of the grits are big enough to have that still. Again, kind of same thing with the pork belly. Nothing's overpowering. There's not a lot of striving or competition of flavor. That's all just meshes together. And then when you get a bite with the greens, that has a whole nother dimension. It changes the complexion of the whole dish. So you, you've got like two or three dishes in one. That blueberry barbecue sauce is crazy. I'm gonna mess around and eat this whole thing. And then somebody's gonna be mad at me because they probably want me to bring this home. I don't know how you could not like this. Unless you just like don't like seafood or grits or something like that. <sighs> Lobster mac and cheese, cast iron skillet. I don't, I don't know how this could go wrong. See if you can get that. All right. I promise y'all, I'm not, I'm not hyping here. This. It's rich. I know I keep saying it, but but still subtle. It's not, um, I could probably eat this whole skillet. Again, the lobster flavor is subtle. I know people got mixed opinions on the crumbles on top of the mac and cheese. It has a good texture. That is crazy good, man. <laughs> this is cooked medium rare. The sear is perfect. The season's great. It's buttered. There's nothing to not love about this. I can't imagine somebody coming here and saying they're disappointed with anything that we just ate. I can't see it. Okay, so that was amazing. I said that the lobster mac and cheese was not too rich and I could eat the whole thing. That, that was probably not true. I don't know if I could eat the whole thing, but it was extremely good. Everything was extremely good. I don't think that you could go to Victor's here in Florence and be disappointed. Like I said, I, don't, I can't imagine somebody being disappointed with everything that we just ate. Um, and that was to be expected. If you're in Florence, if you're staying at the Hotel Florence, obviously, can't get a much shorter trip than that. But if you're looking for something with a little bit more high-end feel to it, a little bit more of a fine dining feel to it, you're definitely gonna wanna check out Victor's in Florence. They've been around for a long time, but the setup that they have in here is fantastic, the menu. And so I wanna thank Mr. Tim Norwood for opening the doors to Victor and inviting us in. I also wanna thank Cooper Thomas and Shelby Tumbleson for putting on the food for us. They did a fantastic job. I thought about something I said. I said that that blueberry sauce reminded me of the holidays. Don't think I said hollandaise. Not hollandaise, the holidays. It had a spice flavor to it that reminded me of like Christmas or Thanksgiving. Uh, it's super good, unique, fantastic, man. I can't say enough about how good that meal was. So if you're in town, 
make sure that y'all check out Victor's in Florence. Also, if you have use for their catering or banquets, make sure that you look at the different things that they are also offering here at the various venues downtown. I look forward to seeing y'all on our next stop as we are touring Florence, South Carolina and the PD. In the meantime, y'all take care and we'll see you on the next one.